What's up toys? Today we're going to be learning how to make graffiti hand styles in Adobe Illustrator. So going to Illustrator, I'm going to make a new file. I'm just going to call this hand styles. For the width, I'm going to have 1500 pixels and the height, I'm going to choose 700 pixels. Uh, but you can play around, we just want something wider than it is tall. Uh, click OK. Zoom out a little bit. Um, so yeah, um, the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, you know, be pulling some some rulers and some guides. Uh, you might think that graffiti has no rules and it's all just anarchy and style. You can do what you want, but uh, that's that's not true at all. Um, complete lie. Um, there's it's full of rules. Um, so yeah, we're gonna draw uh, these. Um, we might change them later. Um, so yeah, uh, make sure that you have the guides unlocked because if they're locked, you can't play around with them. And uh, yeah, we don't. You know, we don't want to be married to these rules or anything, so uh, unlock them, so because we will be playing around with it a little bit later. Um, okay, um, I lost my black stroke, so yeah, make sure you have no fill and uh, a black stroke for this, because we're going to be making a new brush. Uh, we're going to be making a brush that looks kind of like a chisel marker, um, so uh, as opposed to like a, a spray paint type of effect, uh, we're not really doing that. We're doing something, yeah, that you, you know, kind of a, a paintbrush marker. Or a paint marker, not a paintbrush marker. Um, so yeah, just let's just make it. Uh, go to new brush. Uh, it's a calligraphic brush. It's gonna name this chisel marker. Uh, for the roundness, we don't want to go all the way to zero. That'd be something more like a parallel pen. Um, let's uh, put it to about ten. I think that looks nice. Um, and the angle, I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose three six mafia. I think that's good. And for the size. Um, let's go to 60. Um, we might, let, let's, uh, just pull, like, a brush stroke. I think that looks good. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, about what we're, we're looking for. Um, I'm gonna pull the guides in just a little bit. And, uh, start from there. And, yeah, that, keep losing my stroke for doing that. So, yeah, um, 59, no. 60. Uh, yeah, if you ever want to change your brush settings, you can just double click in it and you know change all this stuff if you want to. Uh, but yeah, um, what I'm gonna have, uh, yeah, just just so you see it again, 36, 10, 60. Okay. All right, and uh, yeah, we're the what we're trying to do is basically just uh, write letters that fit uh, roughly inside these guides. Um, there are some like brush settings that we can play with. Um, so yeah, over here in the paintbrush tool, just double click. Uh, the fidelity, um, I'm going to have two pixels. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. And smoothness, uh, about 50. Um, and yeah, um, I don't know how much these uh, matter as much. But yeah, we're going to keep it at, the, at these settings. Uh, so yeah, and kind of the effect that we want is even though we're drawing with a mouse, um, it is... Illustrator, yeah, we want Illustrator to be taking away some anchor points. So yeah, that's a, uh, you know, I just kind of just roughly drew that, and that's actually a, a pretty sick letter, um, uh, if I must say so myself. Um, but yeah, um, if your brush settings um, are turned down a lot, we're just turn the smoothness to three. Uh, I'm gonna try the same letter. Just again, I'm gonna roughly draw it with my mouse. Um, I mean, that's still really dope. Um, yeah, that's actually sick. Um, I'm just too good, I think. Um, so yeah, let's turn the fidelity down as well. And now, do it with those. Okay, yeah, that's more of what I wanted to show. It's adding a bunch of anchor points like this. Um, still looks pretty good down here, actually. But yeah, um, yeah, what we want to do is reduce some of that noise. So that's why we're going to choose 2 and then 50. So okay, um, I'm just gonna. I like doing S's. I think that's a fun letter to play with. Um, if you uh, don't know a lot about letters, uh, you can just literally just look at your keyboard and copy those letters. Um, so again, I'm gonna try to to do that. Just looking at my keyboard S, I'm going to draw a similar shape. I went a little bit too crazy with it, so I'm just gonna undo it and try to get it kind of close to just a normal S and uh, I actually like that a lot um, yeah there's not a lot of anchor points uh, in it um, if 
you know, say I wanted to like bring this down a little bit, what you can do is you can go to direct select here and just select this specific point and kind of modify it a little bit. And even if you wanted to change the angle of that curve, you can grab those anchor points and kind of move them around at will. Maybe you don't want this center point here. You can go to the delete anchor point tool, delete it, go to direct select, maybe mimic that curve a little bit more. And yeah, um, just kind of play with it until you get something that you like. You, know, you can play with all of these and uh, you know, bring stuff down. You know, select you know a few at a time. You want to just like bring down the top a little bit. Um, yeah, maybe turn that up. Oh, I don't know. Uh, what I did there is I, I went to the convert anchor point tool, Shift C. Uh, just, that just makes it uh, not have a curve anymore, and you can kind of start from scratch. So yeah, uh, these are kind of like all the tricks that, that I would use if I was like, uh, yeah, making, um, I don't know, a logo for someone, uh, you know, do a lot of these uh, flyers or just like mimicking someone else's style to like make stickers and stuff like that. Yeah, um, I like that S, I think it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to draw a T and again, just following how it looks on a keyboard. I'm going to do it all in one stroke, so I'm not going to let go of my mouse. Um, and yeah, it started doing a little kind of tail. Um, so yeah, this one has a few more problems. So yeah, I'm just going to go to the delete anchor point tool. Kind of bring that back in. That's a weird thing to have too. And yeah, there's a one up here. No, no, I got a little lost. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna start from scratch. That one, that one became a little bit of a mess. And I'm gonna add a little tail on it. Yeah, there we go. Maybe delete that one. Make that just go up a few. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna play around with it too much. Um, I say that. Here we are. Um, yeah, it's easy to kind of overthink it a little bit. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep that for now. We may come back to it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna draw a Y now. Um, again, just trying to do it in one stroke. Like never really let go of your mouse. Um, I like that. Not really gonna change anything. Um, L. Draw pretty. Oh, I'm gonna try again. Just go, I'm going to draw a pretty straight down L, then I'm going to hook it just back up a little bit. A little bit too many points down here, so just hitting minus and hitting the direct select to modify the anchor points. Just going to, you know, kind of fix the things that I don't like about it little by little. Maybe curve that in. Yeah, give it just a little bit of flare. That looks pretty good. And yeah, now just for an E, just going to pull it. Uh, I'm, I, I'm not going to try to make this just one stroke. Uh, I like kind of like how it curved it there. And just going to pull one in the center. Maybe I don't like that as much. And uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of one way that you can make a hand style. Um, pretty simple marker style, uh, but I'm going to show you another way. Um, to do it um, if you just don't want to bother uh, just writing out the letters. Uh, so yeah, we can just, uh, still with uh, our chisel marker brush selected, we're just going to go to the pen tool. Just hit P on your keyboard and uh, yeah, we're not, we're just going to kind of follow these guides and again, just make keyboard letters if you want to. Um, I'm just going to write uh, New York since uh, that's where I am. So yeah, I'm just going to do an N. Um, yeah, just again, just with the pencil and just going to hit my chisel marker and boom, um, I have an end, kind of a simple end with a, not a lot of anchor points already, so it's a lot easier to modify. Just going to hold uh, the hit A for the direct select, just going to pull these in to where it's hitting those guides. And uh, boom, um, pretty sick end already. Uh, now to do an E. Just gonna roughly go. 
cool E, pull them in, pull that in. Uh, looks like it's a little bit longer, so I'm just going to highlight both of these endpoints, pull those in. And uh, yeah, you can kind of go through the entire alphabet doing this. And uh, I mean, it's pretty much going to look good um, unless you're just doing crazy stuff. I mean, you can build a bunch of curves in it um, if you want to, but I mean, if you're just kind of like following these general guidelines and trying to make it look consistent, like a, like this, you know, W is too wide, you know, just bring it in a little bit like that. Uh, maybe there's, got to give that in some space. Or yeah, maybe you want to bring it in tight. Uh, you know, it's all, it's all up to you um, and how you want to build your style. But again, I'm just drawing kind of rough anchor points. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that letter. Uh, but that looks cool. Yeah, I like that. And yeah, you kind of like find some new ways to build some letters, unlock some new styles. And yeah, you don't have to be, you don't have to be like so rigid. You can just kind of uh, use like the convert anchor point tool here. Say I just wanted to build a curve in that. You know, kind of play around. You know, everything doesn't have to be like big squares and stuff. Uh, you know, just pull, pulled a circle there for an O. Dope ass fucking letter, hell yeah. Uh, back to the pencil. Just trying to make these letters in like, kind of like one, one continuous stroke, you know? Still keeping that uh, idea like in play. I don't, I don't know what happened there. Um, let's bring it in. And yeah, again, I, I don't have to keep that triangle there. Use the convert anchor point tool. Draw a little bit of a curve. There's someone arguing outside my window. So New York. Uh, so yeah, let's do this K and then I'll end this video. Um, Jesus. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, again, this is uh, just two different ways that you can make kind of a solid graffiti hand styles um, quickly in Illustrator. Uh, one, you know, it's more about how much you know about letters and, you know, the letters that you can build, but this one, um, yeah, you can kind of play around with. Um, I think that actually looks really good. And uh, yeah, again, just like make your own styles, um, experiment a little bit, experiment with the brush. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a basic way to, uh, again, mimic a chisel marker style of uh, graffiti in Adobe Illustrator. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, let me know if you like it and want me to make other ones. Um, yeah, really enjoy this. So thanks for watching. Bye.